Ignoring online marketing is like opening a business but not telling anyone. This is actually a quote from a Stephen Wesner book called The Small Business Owner's Handbook to Search Engine Optimization. And again, it's just hitting home how important it is for a business to nowadays have a website and have a digital presence. And I know you're probably already aware of the importance of having an online brand. That's probably why you're here in the first place watching this video. There's a few key features that your website should include in order to take full advantage of your online marketing. That's exactly what I'm going to share with you. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so feature number one, make sure that your website has clear and con consistent branding that matches your already established branding for your business. Your website should be an extension of your brand and that means using your company logo, using your branding colours and using them all throughout your website to keep it consistent. Make sure the design, the media and the tone of the copy on the website also matches your branding. Make sure you're addressing your audience and your customers the way that they would be addressed uh, in person and face to face. You know, if you're a, an accountant or a lawyer, you're going to want to take a much more professional approach as opposed to if you're a dog walker, you might want to come up across with a bit more character and a bit more laid back. So take tone into account here. In the end, if your website doesn't match consistent branding or address your audience in the right way, it's kind of going to be like a movie that have cast the wrong actor in the lead role and it's just not going to sit right with your visitors. Okay, next up, let's talk about navigation. Your website shouldn't be a labyrinth. It should be easy to navigate. It shouldn't encourage your users to play a game of hide and seek with the option that they're looking for in the nav bar. They should be able to find exactly what they need to know about your service or your company all within a split second. I like to make sure that my website's navigation is simple, tidy and easy to use. If your website users can't find what they're looking for, they can't reinforce the problem they're looking to solve with you being the solution, they'll just leave and they'll go to your competitor and that's not what we want to happen. If there's too many options on your navbar which distracts or overwhelms your visitors, they'll be out of there. So populate your navbar with links to pages that are relevant in order to push your visitors towards your end goal, whether that's making sales or converting into a lead. Push them along that path using your smartly designed navbar options. If you've got a link to a page that doesn't help visitors along that process, such as links to social media, get rid of it. You don't want to throw users into the whirlwind of social media to be lost and never come back. And tip number three, and you're not going to believe this, it's your call to action. How useful is your call to action? That is what you want to push your user towards. This is the behaviour you want to reinforce if your customer or your website visitor wants to enter into business with you or take the first necessary step to getting your service or getting your product, what is it they need to do? Remember and keep asking yourself, why does your business need a website in the first place? It's not just for the sake of having a website, you're going to want to measure your website's success through some sort of analytic, whether it's generating sales, generating leads, learning more about your audience, you know, what demographics they sit in. Ask yourself what the purpose of your website is, what data you want to collect from your website and from there you'll be able to craft a call to action which push, pushes every single visitor along that stream in order to generate more data for yourself, whether it's leads, sales, analytics, like I said. Ask yourself what your website's purpose is and then craft a call to action which is going to push your users towards completing that goal. Make sure your call to action is clear, it stands out from the rest of the website. If you make it easy for your audience to complete their goals when they come to your website, it's going to be easier for you to complete your own goals. And that's us. That's my three massive tips for increasing engagement on your website. If you can take these into account, you'll definitely see more engagement across the board when the traffic lands on your website. And these are only three bits of advice that I've got. I've actually got a checklist on my website that you can get totally for free. It's the process that I use anytime I'm developing or designing a website, whether it's from scratch or it's helping clients come up with a new design, come up with new ideas that are going to increase 
their engagement and their metrics. So you can get that for free on my website. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. But I hope this video has been useful for you. And if it has, I'd love if you could like the video. And until next time, cheers.